Yo guys, what's good? It's your boy you love Nick Tanner back again with another video and this is gonna be my first Madden 23 video on the channel and in this video We are finally gonna do our first fantasy draft for Madden 23 One of my first videos I ever made on the channel was a fantasy draft to Madden 21 I believe and it was with the Washington football team and that got a lot of love and It was actually one of my best videos performance wise on this channel that I've ever did so why not run it back with the new Madden because I knew the new franchise mode is something to be talked about and they made it a little bit better. So we're going to be doing that here. The team that I decided to pick for this though, I did it a little differently. Basically, all I did was I went on Google and I looked up NFL fans ranked best or worst like which one has the best fan bases and which one has the worst fan bases based on just like I don't know how they get this these stats, but I'm guessing it's like home attendances and stuff like that so i literally went through this web page right here it said nfl fans ranked from worst to best and i decided on using the cardinals for this playthrough only because like i would have done the rams because technically they are the worst because they have the worst home field attendance but they just won a super bowl you know what i'm saying so why would we do the rams when the cardinals would be next up it says the Arizona Cardinals have one of the smallest NFL fan bases. Moving to Arizona in 1988, the team just has been, hasn't been able to get much fan support. This is most likely due to the fact that the NFL fans in the area already had a team they uh, liked prior to 1988, which geographically is probably the Dallas Cowboys. I'm here to tell you that is not going to be a thing, all right? We're going to take over and we're going to be more liked than Dallas. We're going to make it happen. We're going to make it possible or at least try. So, yeah. We're gonna be taking over the Cardinals. We're gonna do a fantasy draft, relocate possibly. We're gonna get the Cardinals back on the map to being light. Without further ado, enjoy. Here's the video, tell somebody you love them and I'll catch you guys at the end, later. While we get this game updated and everything, I just wanna let you guys know that I didn't do any fantasy drafts before this. I'm literally going in with knowledge from previous games. I'm kind of aim. I kind of know what players I'm aiming for, when they're gonna get drafted, how they're gonna get drafted. I have no idea, but we're gonna do the best we can, and we're gonna try and bring out the best team possible. So, we'll see what we can do for our first time doing a fantasy draft in uh, Madden 23. As is, they don't have a bad team. I think the Cardinals get screwed because they're just in a really tough division. When you got Seattle, San Fran, and the Rams all in the same division, plus these guys, which. The Cardinals have a, good, a solid team, man. They're a little young. They're young at quarterback. <clears throat> the offense is there, man. Um, it's just they're in a super tough division anyway. So hopefully this fantasy draft kind of shakes things up. We're going to go ahead and we're going to change our role to owner because we are going to own the team. Um, And... Let's just say since we want the backstory of us to be a fan because we want happiness here in Arizona or where we move. And to be honest, it you know what? No, screw that. We're going to be a financial mongol. Okay, so we got everything set to fantasy draft. We're good. Change roll. Nope, we did it. Leaks that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and start our fantasy draft now then, fellas. All right, guys. Well, looks like this is where we're going to start the video. Let's start our fantasy draft now. Let's see what pick we get. We are going to get pick 24. I don't really love that spot, but Cooper Cup went in the first round. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh, uh, hold on. Let me pause the clock here. So, I think the first thing I want to do is I'm going to look at the quarterbacks real quick. Um, if we're going to draft something, like, I don't think anything is really good um, right from the get-go. Like, I don't think, looks like all the good quarterbacks are gone. Uh, nothing really sticks out to me like crazy. I could get one of these younger guys a little bit later, like maybe a Trey Lance a little bit later. So, I'm really good on that, right? Halfbacks, we're gonna definitely wait on one of those. We could go receiver route. Um, there are some great receivers. I don't think any of them are worthy of being picked 
first. Aaron Donald would be nice, but at the same time, he's 31 as it is. And honestly, guys, I don't know about you, but I'm not even going to double think this. Speed rushers are so hard to find in the league right now. Why not just go ahead, pick up TJ Watt now, be set for a very, very long time at that speed rushing position. And this is going to be a very, very good first pickup for us. We're going to go TJ Watt with our first pick of the draft. I love that. I love that pick. And then we're going to go ahead with the second pick. Why not give TJ Watt some firepower on the right-hand side? And we pick up Josh Allen. He's 6'5", age of 25. Look at the ratings on this dude. We got 86 speed, 88 excel. This guy's going to be a monster with already a star ability that's just going to get better. We're going to go ahead and pick up Josh Allen to be on the other side. They say we reached. I don't think we did. But... We need to figure out what we're going to do on the offensive side of the ball. But we need to figure out something. I think right here we're going to go ahead and look at what we can get at the quarterback position. A lot of them are starting to go. I'm very upset that Tua and Fields are off the board. Like, I really want to go here. There's so many corners in the league, though. I really want to go receiver so bad, man. I think get, we, a receiver before getting a quarterback would be kind of crazy. With the way it's looking, I think I'm just going to hope that, that Jalen Hurts is there for the next round. And we're going to go ahead and go receiver here. I want to get my guy some uh, firepower at receiver. We're going to get this. We're going to get a young guy. We're going to get the fastest rookie to come out in Madden history. We're going to pick up Jamison Williams at 98 speed, age of 21, star better development. We're going to go ahead and pick him up for our third overall pick. I think it's crazy to say if we don't go quarterback here, we're going to be looking for a very, very long time. Jalen Hurts is still here, though, but we will keep it in the back of our mind. I think Malik Willis is still there. I think we're good to possibly go corner here. And we could definitely go Denzel Ward. I wouldn't mind him. Jamal Adams would be super nice because we're going to need some strong safeties too. A tight end like TJ Hawkinson would actually be really good of a pick here. With the next pick in the draft, we're actually, I think we're going to go T Higgins here. Let's get some height on the other side of our, whoever our quarterback is and give him someone to throw to. I have no idea. <laughs> this team's going to be young, man. This team's going to be young and good. Let's go back to the quarterbacks. We're going to keep looking. Jalen Hurts is still there. We still got options. I'm going to go back to corner. And I think if, if we have, he's gone. Oh, I really should have picked. We're going to have to start thinking of corners here. <clears throat> I really, really wanted to get... I really wanted to get AJ Terrell, but we still have options. We're not completely in the dust here. We're actually going to pick up a left tackle here. We're going to pick up Colton Miller. I don't want these linemen to get too out of hand, and I don't want them to keep on going, so we're going to go ahead and draft one now so our quarterback is protected for a very long time. Let's go back to corners again. See what we have. It's not looking great. We still have Shaquille Griffin here. Quarterbacks. Jalen Hurts is still here. How much longer is he going to be there, though, is the problem. We have tight ends that we could pick up. Hunter Henry. He's a little older. Dawson Knox. He could be a good one. I really should have gotten TJ Hawkinson when I had the chance. I think we're going to be safe here. We're going to go ahead and go corner. And I think with this one, we're going to go with speed and we're going to go ahead and get Griffin. We're going to get a zone corner. A lot of speed on him. 27 years old. That's still young. 94 speed. We can train him to who we want him to be. We're going to go with that for the pick. A lot of reaches here, though. Here, And I think we're going to go with Isaiah Wynn just to make sure we have protection for our quarterback when we draft him. And we are going to go ahead and pick with our next pick no matter what. It's now the Arizona Cardinals selection. They're on the clock. Thank you. 
And with that being said, I said we are going to pick our quarterback here, and I think we're going to be smart, and we're going to pick up Jalen Hurts. Is he going to be the best quarterback? No, but with the speed and everything and him being young, we can develop him into something great. I'm going to take the risk. We went from Kyler Murray to Jalen Hurts. You guys are going to think I'm crazy, but with the next pick, we're going to go ahead and pick up another receiver. We're going to pick another speed guy in McCole Hardman. At this point, if our quarterback's going to be Jalen Hurts, let's give him every single opportunity to throw to whoever he can with protection and just hope our defensive line makes plays. I'm going to go back to defense this time. We're going to go ahead and look at the strong safeties here. I like Amos. Amos is a little bit older, but that's fine. But I think we're going to make the pick is I've always loved Kyle Duggar as a player. We're going to go ahead and pick Duggar up with our ninth pick. I think it's our ninth pick. No, it's past our ninth pick. I picked that ninth. We're going to go ahead and pick Duggar. We're going to go ahead and we're going to back on the board. Let's go ahead and look at some D tackles to really stuff that inside. And we still have a lot of decent players here, I think. Uh, not really, I guess. I think we're just going to go Ionitis, honestly, because at the age of 28, star development, it's a reach. But at the same time, we need someone to complement that inside. That's about the best we got. Going back to defense, let's go ahead and look at the corners. Honestly, there's still a lot of good ones here. A lot of ones I'm eyeballing is I'm, I'm eyeballing Fuller. I like Razul Douglas. Um, Desmond King is always okay. Maddox could be fine. Um, a lot of these younger guys are still here, too. Like, we have Kevin King. Um, are there any rookies still here? It looks like not a lot of these rookies are gone. Greedy's still here. We have a lot of younger guys, too. JC Horn is still here. So, I think we're fine if we just kind of sit on corners for a little bit. Let's look to see if we can have someone over the top to compliment everybody. Jabril Peppers could be really good. Trevor Morning could be that guy and i think he is going to be that guy we're going to go ahead and pick him up and i really really like that pick at free safety i'm very excited to see that very excited to see that 13th pick in the draft i want to go back to lineman here guards center particularly call me crazy but i think that's the first one i clicked on I'm a Falcons fan, so I'm already aware who Matt Hennessy is. But let's go ahead and look at the development trait for these linemen. And I think we're going to go either him or Garrett Bradbury. Honestly, I'm going to go Hennessy here because we need a center. And honestly, if we can establish the line, I think I'm fine to go Hennessy here. We're going to draft Hennessy with this pick. And now we really, now that we have our centers and tackles, I'm okay with kind of getting some older guys for guards and shit like that. So let's go look at corners. A lot of these younger guys are still here, I think. So I think I'm going to be fine to wait on some of these guys. Caleb Farley. These are guys I could pick up like late star development. I'm okay with that. Caleb Fari is someone I've always liked ever since the Titans drafted him and stuff like that. I think he's going to be good. He's going to be young. 95 speed, 95 expel, excel. He's going to fit that speed on the outside that we're looking for here in Arizona. So I think we are going to draft him with the pick. I'm okay with that. And I'm going to go back to back corners here. I'm pretty sure. Actually, I'm actually, no, I'm fine with corners. I think the secondary is good enough to where now we can figure out about a running back situation. We're going to go to running back here. And as you guys saw, I was looking at ETN. Rashad Penny could be good. But I think, honestly, we're going to go ETN with this pick. Good running back. Good, good speed on him. Catching out the backfield. I'm going to go ETN with the next pick of this draft. That's good. <clears throat> Another thing that we should probably look over on the offensive side is we're going to go ahead and pick up a tight end here. I like, we need a, yeah, I want someone tall. Mo Alley Cox could be that guy. We could sit here and go, let's look by development. Logan Thomas, I think he's a little bit older. Taysom Hill. No. Chris Henderson, Pruitt. 
Devin Funches. We are getting to the slim pickings here in tight end. You know what? We might just sit there and bank on tight end because honestly, at this point, we don't even have a middle linebacker. We forgot about middle linebacker. Jerome Baker, that's the guy. Yep, Jerome Baker's the guy. We need a middle linebacker. I didn't even think about our linebacker situation. We needed a middle linebacker. We're gonna pick up a vet here <laughs> at left guard because I don't know who to pick here. <laughs> pick up a vet at left guard to see if we can try and run the ball a little bit. That might've been a waste of a pick, but I have no idea who to pick here. Eric Stokes could be a great pick. Him to play that slot position, we're gonna go Eric Stokes here. Our corners are burners. I'm gonna pick up Chris Wormley here. He's young, er, I guess, 28. We'll go ahead and pick him up, develop him. We're gonna go back to strong safeties to see if we can get a decent user here. Eric Murray could be that guy, 72 overall. Brandon Jones. Landon Collins could be the guy. I mean, he's a little slower, but... I think we're going to go ahead and pick up Murray, honestly. Murray could be the guy. He's fast, 28. We'll just use him as a user and go from there. We need to still draft a tight end, so let's see what we got. It's probably slim pickings. You guys are going to hate me for saying this name, dude's name wrong, but he's an 88 speed, 92 XL at 24 years old. This is the guy we're picking. Albert, welcome to the team. I guess Daryl Williams is the guy. We still need a right end and a D tackle, so I guess we'll go ahead and fill those spots now. And to be honest, then Dominick and Sue might be the guy. Or Samson. Dante Fowler. Do we bring him? Tack McKinley? No. We're going to bring Dominick and Sue onto the team. 35 years old. Bring him on. <laughs> Let's fill the spot. <laughs> We're going to bring some fans in just by getting him. Definitely going to need to uh, address that situation when we get there, though. I actually want to see what we can bring in at running back. Jamal Williams. Can we bring in Jamal Williams? I think we're going to bring in Jamal Williams just because, right? I like that pick. I like that pick. That's a fan favorite. I like that. Okay, we're going to go ahead and simulate the rest of the draft and see what we get. Actually, we're not going to simulate the rest of the draft. Let's keep on going through and seeing what we can grab. We need another free safety, possibly. Let's, let's see what we have at corner. I don't know if this is the greatest pick or not, but we're going to bring in Kendall Sheffield just for that speed aspect of the team. Our fourth corner with 94 speed. So, <laughs> yeah, the corners are going to be burners, bro. The corners are going to be locked up burners. Let's see if we can bring in some young guys to fill in roles for backups real quick. We're going to pick up Wandale Robinson. Oh, my God. This is a fire draft. We just picked up Wandale Robinson with this pick. Oh, my God. That was my favorite pick of the draft. This late, 26? Bring him in. With this next pick, we're going to bring in a vet, and we're going to bring in Jalen Smith for our backup middle linebacker. We're going to have our backup quarterback, the guy that's going to sit there and develop Jalen Hurts to be the best he can, Cam Newton. And I think that's going to be the end of that draft, boys. Let's go ahead and sim to the end, and let's go ahead and do a recap for you guys. I don't know what it is with Madden this year. Everything's taking forever. I didn't like that draft process at all. Because every time you would like go to a different category and click on someone and click off, it would go right back to the beginning of like the all and stuff like that. Like I want to stay on that. Like that's like a light bug that I feel like could be fixed. I don't know if it was just me. Let's go ahead and take a look at the roster as we can. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust the lineup here. This is what the offense is looking like, guys. We have Jalen Hurts at quarterback. We're gonna have ETN, our starting running back. We have at our wideouts a really, really good bunch of wideouts. We got T. Higgins, McCole Hardman, and Jamison Williams gonna be in that slot receiver. I'm excited that I picked him up so early. The line is looking solid, um, except for the older guys that are just gonna hold it on until we draft. We got Colton Miller, Roger Saffold, Matt Hennessy, Williams, and Wynn. And then Albert, I have high hopes for Albert. I do have high hopes for Albert, but we have him rocking that tight end position. And then the defense is going to be full of some absolute studs. I wouldn't be surprised if we have the best defense in the league. Right now, we're rocking Ioannidis and in the middle of the field at D tackle. And Dominic and Sue, Wormley at the ends. But our real, our real place where we shine is going to be linebackers where we have Josh Allen and TJ Watt. Baker at that middle linebacker for speed. 
and we might try and get a better middle linebacker too. I have no idea for right now. Kyle Duggar, and then we got our speed guys at corner, Shaq Griffin with Stokes, and then also Caleb Farley with Sheffield as that fourth, just to get that speed on the edge, guys. I think this team is gonna be absolutely deadly. I am very, very, very excited. We didn't draft a picker. We did not draft a, crick, a kicker or a punter. Oh, wow. Wow, let's go sign a kicker and a punter because that is very weird. We're gonna pick up Will Lutz and we're gonna pick up Dixon instead. So now that we got the team all figured out, let's go ahead and I kinda already hinted it at first, but I think it's about time that Arizona relocates. We start from scratch. Okay, so I had to change it. <clears throat> that was my fault. I had it set to relocation on normal. I changed it to everyone. I think it's best that we leave State Farm Stadium it's been a good 16 year old run sorry you didn't make it to 18 but we are going to be relocating the team starting now so now we got to keep an eye on it but we are going to be relocating and i'll show you guys more of that in the next video and stuff but and honestly i think this is the best that we can do for arizona and the fantasy draft man let me let me know how i did in the comments below thank you guys for watching i'm gonna go ahead and catch you guys next time i'm gonna go ahead and get some more videos recorded for this so be safe tell somebody you love them and i'll catch you guys in the next video so. Later.